so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a couple of exercises to sort of warm the body up and get ready to go um, before we start tossing each other through the air. Um, and so how I wanna do that is I'll give you the first one and then go out on the mats. And then when I blow the whistle, then just everyone get real quiet, stay where you are, listen for the next one, and then we'll get through them real quick so we can save some time. So the first one is just pummel, uh, pummeling. Um, what I really hate to see by pummeling is when we're here, people just stand in front of each other, very upright, and just shove the hand right into the armpit. And it just looks like this, and it's garbage, and that won't help you with anything. So what we want is we want to get here, we want to be shoulder to shoulder. We don't need to fight yet, but we want to at least have a little bit of this tension. Yeah. So now when I bring my hand in, I'm not just shooting right for his armpit, because if he tightens up his elbow, I'm never getting through here. Yeah. I want to bring my hand down to the ground and then up. And I push my feet with it. Bring my hand in, shove it through my, my sternum, shove it down. Okay. So that's how it should look. Take it slow, give a little bit of tension, not just pummeling, pummeling and saying, all right, coach, I did the warm up. Um, really try to practice it like you want to throw someone out. All right, let's go. Now just one person has the underhook, the other person has the hand. We want to push that hand to the belt. We want to have this hand as high as we can, either on this shoulder or this shoulder. Now we're not dancing, we're grabbing. So I push here, push here. I want my leg preferably on the inside. Um, the outside's not bad, but then we want pressure on the knee, right? So we're here, and we're just gonna push a couple steps back, and then he's gonna pummel in, get his underhook. And then he's gonna get in here and push me back a couple steps. And I come in here, I free my hand, I come in, and I just push him, and we just do that a couple times. All right? So, I have the underhook, a high underhook. Yeah, my head, on the inside of his head, my hand, grabbing his wrist and pushing into his belt. So all I'm doing is just pushing a couple steps, and then he's going to pummel in, get his underhook, and do the same thing to me, just a couple steps. I'm going to pummel in, go to him a couple steps, and that's it. Okay? Let's go. So this time, I'm here with my overhook, and I have the same thing. So now he has, he has the underhook, I come in with my overhook, push his hand to his to his belt, and from here, I bring my head in again, and now I push back. Yep. And then I can pummel in, then he grabs his overhook, hand control, head control, and he pushes me back. Yep. Then he pummels in, gets his underhook, I get my overhook, and we just do that. Okay? Let's go. Okay, last warm-up sort of thing. Um, now we can take a step back. Uh, we want to grab a wrist. We want to bring this hand way up into the shoulder. Push the wrist back down, and we pull his shoulder to our shoulder. Tight waist, and turn for a good arm drag. Again, a lot of people, when they're doing arm drag dr drills, they're just grabbing anywhere here. I'm just sort of pulling. And we want to come here, and we want to pull with our entire body, him not just to us, but also down. So we're here, here, take our step, and we come into a tight waist right away. And just do that a couple times, and then we'll actually start with the technique. Okay? Yes, it's both. You're pulling him, and you're taking the step. 
<laughs> and now. Okay, great. Um, so now we're going to get into the actual wrestling part. So we're going to start here in the in the very tight distance. It's a little contrived, but um, if we have more time, we'll work back from a further distance than later. So when we're here, one of the first things that we can do, and one of the first things that's taught, is we grab here and we pull down, and then this arm comes up, and I push this hand over this shoulder while I take a step to his back. Here. Yeah. And then from here, I can switch down to the hip ride or the body lock. Um, whoever was here for the body lock class I did last year, we can switch to this side and just drop them right away. Um, but for, for now, just come to this back body lock position. Well, again, we're here, we've got an underhook on this side. We want to push down here and that'll twist his body a little bit and open up the way for me to get out here. And as I take my step, I want to uh, punch my arm over here into his shoulder, <coughs> grab his hip. I can go for double legs here. I can go for body locks here. And you can go for single legs. That's pretty much your choice at that point. Just get in, get tight, okay? Any questions? No? One, more time. One more time. So we're here, taking a step to the outside. And as we're doing that, we're pulling down here and bringing these fingers as high as we can, like 45 degrees above him. And I want to be pushing into his shoulder here, not into his arm here. So here, push him away. And then I can wrestle. Uh, it's always the leg of the underhook, which is in front. It's always in front, the leg of the underhook? Not always, but for this, yes. And generally, yes. Yeah, otherwise, you do otherwise, you're really far away. This is good if, you're, if you want to do like leg attacks and stuff like that. But otherwise, you're usually arm and leg forward. OK? Let's go. So, um, yeah, we had the question already, what happens if I come in here and his, un his overhook is just too strong? So while I'm trying to switch to his back, we just sort of get stuck here. Uh, there's a couple of options that we can do here, uh, one of which is just to make our underhook stronger. And what we can do there is we bring our hand here in front, of, in front of his face. I take a step back and I get my hands together and I pull his shoulder into my head. I want to be super tight here. I don't want to just be here loose. I want to be here. Now I'm going to take a step back with my front foot and pull him into me. If you've noticed that's already pulled his elbow away from his body. And now I'm going to almost like I want to jump on his back and do a back take. I bring this leg up here. And I come here and I'm back on his back. There are really explosive people who can do a back take from there. Um, I'm a little bit too heavy for that. I also don't want to break my partners. So if I'm here, I want to create a little bit of space. And you can do that when you're here with your head. <coughs> Push, pull, and now you got some space. Yeah, now I bring my front foot back, and now I swing it over like I'm going for a flying arm bar, flying triangle, <laughs> back, here, here. Now when I'm here, I said you can do body lock, and that's stuff that we did last year. Yeah, that's a really nice easy one. Uh, if you don't know the mechanics with the elbows, it can be a little tricky though. So from here, what you can also do is just do a short knee tap here. You probably won't take, get the takedown, but his foot will come in. Then you can go for the far one. So it's just a, something to try. So one more from the top. We're here, his overhook's really tight. Now we're pushing. I create a little bit of space, get my hands together. I step back. I try to go 
go for the flying arm bar here. Then I grab here, go for the body lock or knee tap. Okay. If you go for the knee tap and you can do it, what would you do? The do it. <laughs> How do you do it? Oh, the first one. Yeah, with this one. You go for the knee tap and then for the but, double button. Like, uh, so if I'm here. Uh, I had his back here. It's just going to be grabbing here and pulling here. That's it. It's just like that push-pull mechanic. Most people with good balance are going to be able to stay up. So that's why, like, if, my, if I get my head in the front again, then it's a lot more powerful. But if I'm here on the back and I'm just here, he's probably going to be able to keep out of it. If I come from here, then it's a lot stronger. But just here, he's probably going to stay up. And he's going to need to move his leg in a little bit to keep his balance. Mm -hmm. So hit the first one hard. They probably won't fall. And snatch that second one. As one uh, possibility of many. OK, good. Let's go. Okay, we have one more from this position, and then we're going to tie them all together and see how much time we still have. So if I'm here, and he has the overhook, now I'm going to start off doing what I did in the beginning. Or, sorry, that's the next step. Sorry. So I'm here, and this time he has his head in here really tight. I can't get even my hand over here. So. And the wizard's really tight, so I can't, I can't throw him. I can't get my hands together. So what am I to do? I bring my hand here, and I push his arm in. Yeah? I can just do the elbow, or I can do here. And now I'm going to bring my leg to the outside and really push into him. Yeah? And I need him to push back. So I want to really get this reaction from him. Now what I want to do is I want to just limp my arm. So I push. I feel him pushing back. I let my arm go limp, and I just look away. And now I'm here. As soon as my hand is out, I want to come back to him. Now my arm shoots in front of his hip, I bring my foot behind him, and I sit down. So faster, it's going to look like this. We're here, we're pushing into each other. Yeah, I'm going to jockey from my knee position, so it's on the outside, and then and whether I straighten out my leg or keep it bent depends on how far I need to go back. If I'm already pretty close, I can just do a step. So I'm here, go to air guitar out, and I can come in here. If it's a short step, then I stay like in a squatted position. And then I come here. If I need to do a long step, then like if I really have to pull out of it, and now I need to do a long step. I'm going to come in here. I want to control his leg, control his hip, and wind up on top. OK? Easier than it looks. It looks a little flashy, but it works great. Like, really. <laughs> so we're here, and we're pushing. You need, you need the, the resistance. So we're here, and we're really pushing against each other. If he's not fighting me, so I'm going to do one of the other ones. Yeah? So I need him to fight me on this position. And as soon as I realize that he is, I come in here. So the first movement is two movements. The first one is spaghetti arm, out, and air guitar. That's the first move. Loose, turn, air guitar. The second one is just stepping and close line. And that's, that's it. So if you can all uh, air guitar and close line, you're good. All right? Try it out. OK. 
a lot easier than it looks, right? It's not too bad. Um, so now we're just going to take a couple of minutes and do all of those together. So once we come in here, I get my overhook, uh, I get my underhook, he gets his overhook, and now we're just going to push against each other a little bit, and I'm going to see what I need to use. So if I'm here and I notice his arm isn't that tight, then I'm just going to swim out, come here, and get my takedown. Um, I'm going to want to start with that probably always. So if I'm here and I try that, and I notice, oh, it's way too tight, but I was able to push him enough that my hand can get in here. Then I come here. Yep. And if I try that first one again, here, I try it, and I can't get through because of his whizzer or his overhook, and I can't get my hand in between me and his head, well, then I'm going to have to air guitar and sit in. Okay? So just take a couple minutes and just try to tie those all together just um, with a little bit of timing. We're not going to be able to drill it enough that it really sticks today. So try to do that on your own time. But for a couple of minutes, just in case anyone has any questions, let's go and do that. All right. Okay, um, I know for a lot of you that is going to be enough for today. Um, so if that's the case and you know that, okay, that I'm not going to remember any more wrestling for today, then just stay with that and keep drilling that last one that we did for the next like 10, 15 minutes um, just so that sticks. For everyone else, we got a little bit more. Um, we're going to start in the same position for now, um, stay in this tight. 50-50 position. And now I'm trying to do all this stuff on this side, and he's being really strong. That usually means that this side's weaker. Because being strong everywhere is hard to do. Uh, so I'm trying over here, and I just realized his overhook's just too good. Maybe my underhook is too shallow, or I'm like down here or whatever, and it's just not really working. Then I'm going to start going for this hand. I'm going to push down. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the arm drag that we did to warm up. So grab, bring my leg out, face towards him, and come here. Yeah. So for here, we can either just step back, come to the body lock. Um, we can do some knee taps and things like that. That's not going to be the super important thing. R wrestling is super easy once you get on the hips. Super easy. Um, it's not the hard part. The hard part's getting in and getting tight. So we're just going to focus on that for today. So we're here, and we notice ah, this whole underhook stuff isn't really working out too well. We're going to come over here. I'm going to neck into him, step out, pull him forward, and then switch to the back here. Uh, this is going to be important later, but for now, we can just let it go and come to the back. OK? Do that just a couple minutes. Uh, it should be pretty easy for most of you. Again, if you just want to do the stuff that we already did, feel free. All right? Let's go. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of time left, but I do want to get two things in real quick. Um, so again, if at any point it's just overload, just stick with the stuff that we already did. Um, here, come here to the, to the arm drag. I'm switching over here. Now I'm going to stay really tight on his arm here. I'm going to be laying down on the shoulder and first going with the, with the tight waist. So I'm here and now I'm going to slip back to his hand and bring this arm to his shoulder and really lay down it. Like almost like one of those self-defense arm bars that everyone has seen at some point in their lives, but where it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm here. I hold his shoulder and I'm pushing my, my stomach down on him and I got some really, really good control. From here, we can just throw him. Yeah. That works pretty well. Um, even if we don't want to do anything fancy, just pulling often works. But we're going to 
skip that step real quick because we're going to assume that our opponent is very strong and he's not going to let us just grab his arm like that. So he's going to pull his hand back here. There are a lot of different ways to do this. Um, pretty traditional is to grab here and to grab my own arm. Uh, it's great. I do it a lot too. But I recently learned another one that's also really cool. Bring your hand here and you do a rear naked choke. So I bring my hand in front of his hand and then up on his shoulder. And it's just as strong and it's a whole lot easier on the wrist. So now from here I can do a lot of things. The easiest takedown from here is just to bring his elbow down to the ground. Here. If I try that and he starts to posture up, then I'm going to kick this leg away. Or the third variation for today, coming here, here. For all the lazy people out there like me, we just lay down. That's great. And when, I, when I'm here, if Sasha tries to get up, it's really not very easy. Yeah. It doesn't look like much, but it is. And we can wrestle out and start making his life miserable. So one more time from the top, we're here. We got our underhook, we got our hand control coming in here. We're switching out and we're staying really tight. This hand comes here and we can either stay here and just do the normal Russian tie or he pulls his hand in. I rear naked choke his hand and I just choose my, choose my throw. Okay? I think that's going to be all we have today. I'll show you the last one just to show you, but uh, try this out for a couple minutes and then we'll meet back here. Let's go. Okay, really quickly, as we're out of time, uh, when I have a Russian tie, whether it's a normal one or this one. Stefan, can you Kennst du Russian Tag? Oder, nee, bleib da. Jemand, der kann. So, yeah. So, when we're here, um, this is a not great position to be in, as you guys have all figured out. Whether it's like the, like the fisting one, the traditional one, or the rear naked choke one that we just did, doesn't really matter. One really good way to get out of here is something that we already did. We're going to get a little bit of pressure here, or even better, we're going to push his hands or pull his elbow. Grab his elbow and push him here, and now we're going to push against him. Now he notices that if I have his elbow, he doesn't really have a whole lot of control over me yet. I can't get out of here really easy, but he's going to start pushing into me and trying to get his grip tighter. As soon as he starts pushing into me, air guitar. Um, yeah, that was it. Uh, you, guys should, <laughs> you guys should know that one, or at least you can practice it. Um, it's also really good for getting out of the, the Russian tie and really tight overhooks as well. Um, I mean, really tight underhooks as well. You can also air guitar up and get out. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah, it was great to wrestle with you this morning. Thank you all very much.